Tessa Bias here from Precocious Paper. Today I have a tutorial for you for one of the new project stacks by DCWV, which are available at Joann's stores. It's this stack here, the flower stack. I'm going to show you how to make this flower right here. And I'm also going to show you how to turn it into something that you can wear and enjoy yourself or give as a gift. So I'm headed to my craft table and I want you to come with me. Bring the stack scissors, a pencil and eraser. You're also going to want some adhesive. I'm going to use my hot glue gun, but you could use really whatever adhesive that you would like. And we're going to turn it into a brooch. So you're going to want either a safety pin or a brooch pin. Here we go. So I've already cut out the flower templates and I'm laying them out here so that you can see what they look like all in a row. They're numbered and it tells you exactly how many of each piece you want to cut out. Just a quick tip, save your instructions for future reference and on the back side use washi tape to attach the template pieces so that the next time you want to make this flower you know exactly where all those pieces are. So the next thing you want to do is trace with a pencil all the templates onto the pattern papers that you want to use and then of course cut them out. Now this part of the process can be a little tedious so maybe sit back and watch your favorite TV show while you're doing it but this is a great option if you don't have a die cut machine or you don't want to have to get it out. The next step is to erase those pencil marks. I would be really bothered if I noticed these later on the final product, so I made sure to take care of all of my pencil lines. Next, you want to get a mister. It's just a little bottle with water inside, and you're going to spray a fine mist of water on each piece. Just enough water so that the cardstock reacts to it and becomes really easy to fold and roll and curl. And you're going to take each petal between your fingers and start to roll it back and forth until you get the curl that you like. And you can take your thumb in the center of the flower there and kind of press down a little bit so that the flower starts to be more like a bowl shape. This will help when you are uh, putting all of the flower layers together. So just curl each petal, work your way around the flower. And uh, what you're going to do is curl every flower like this, set it aside to dry, and when they're all done, they look like this. The next step is to take a piece of paper and roll it into a tight little ball. And this is so that as you're putting the layers together, the flower is going to keep its shape and you're not going to end up crushing the smaller flower layers as you're adding the larger ones. So just take a little bit of hot glue and secure that layer to the next. You want to make sure that you are shifting each layer around the flower a little bit so that the petals don't all line up exactly. That could be a cool look, but you're not going to get a very natural look with your flower if you do it that way. So as you're putting on the next layer, kind of give it a, a little bit of a turn so that those petals do not all line up perfectly in a row. Just keep adding your hot glue and securing it to the next layer. Go ahead and push down on that paper ball. That's what it's there for. Make sure your glue is nice and secure and that nothing is going to pop out or fall apart. And you can keep shaping the petals, curling them up around that paper ball too. And when you are all done, of course, if you don't like how one petal is curling, you could always give it a quick mist and recurl it until it's exactly how you want it to look. So this is what the flower looks like when it is all assembled. Let me pull out the paper ball here so you can see the center. You can recurl that, of course. And you can fuss with those petals as much as you want. Every flower you make is going to be unique and beautiful in its own way. The next thing we're going to do is add leaves. So I got out some green paper and there's no leaf template uh, for this flower, but that's okay because I just want to do a very basic leaf shape. And what I love about these pattern papers is that they're double-sided. So one of these leaves will show the A side and the other leaf will show the B side. I'm going to fold each one in half and give it some dimension. And then I'm going to glue the leaves to each other. And then I'm going to glue the leaves to the back side of the flower. I just want to make sure that um, they're situated in such a way that they're not sticking out too far and that they look really nice with the petals that they are behind. 
and then it's time to add the brooch pin. So the brooch pin that I'm using is also a hair clip and the back of it is concave. And so in order to make sure that my glue is really attaching to the flower, I'm putting the paper ball back inside so that I can push down on that with my fingers and make sure that the flower really, really attaches to the clip. So I'm just pushing really hard, making sure the flower makes contact with the glue. You don't want to be wearing this and have it fall apart. So, And I'm not worried about this crushing the flower at all because it's really just making the flower take its shape a little bit better. And this is what it looks like all done. The last touch is going to be adding a few blue moon beads to the center. Mm -hmm. 